Hello everyone, my name is Millie and welcome to The Performing Arts and Me. In today's video I'm going to be talking about Dance Overture which was our end of year show that we did. I'm going to be talking about what it was um, and sharing some reflections with you. For those of you that didn't know already, um, I've finished my first year at London Studio Centre. I'm on their theatre dance degree programme. Um, and I'm on the musical theatre pathway and Dance Overture was the name of our end of year show that we did. Now Dance Overture is something that first and second years take part in um, and as a first year I was in two pieces. I was in one piece that was based on my pathway, so the musical theatre pathway, and one piece was one that we auditioned for. Um, so the piece that was based on my pathway was obviously a musical theatre piece um, and then the other one that I auditioned for. So what we did was we did three auditions. We also got to put our the pieces that we auditioned for in order so that they knew which one we'd prefer to be in. Um, but you did all three auditions and then from that um, they cast you in a piece um, as well as your pathway piece. So the piece that I was cast in um, for our non-pathway piece was the theatre jazz piece. So my musical theatre piece, I, we started working on that around Easter time, I think just after we came back from Easter. Um, and we worked on it for a bit. We had an assessment somewhere around May half term, I think just before May half term um, on that piece. And then we continued developing it for the show at the end of the um, summer term. Um, but the theatre jazz piece, we had, we had all our auditions, I think just before half term. And then the casting came out over half term and then we started rehearsals after half term. So we had the second half of the term to work on that piece and it wasn't something that I was assessed on at all. So I really feel like I learned a lot from doing Dance Overture and I'm just gonna talk about some of the things that I feel like I've learned from this process. So something that I learned or like has changed a bit um, in my head since doing Dance Overture um, is like, I feel like I've raised my standard for myself of like cleanliness of learning routines and things. Because obviously, when we're learning routines in class, we're learning them maybe in a class and then um, unless it's assessment material, it's not necessarily something you'll carry over to the next class. You might do it for the next class, but then you'll probably leave it. Whereas obviously we were getting these pieces show ready. So they had a much higher standard of cleanliness by the end of the, like the end of the, by the show than a piece that I might learn in a jazz class and then not have to remember again. Obviously there's a huge difference between doing something in class and doing something for the stage, like classes for learning. And I think I'll still be happy to make mistakes and things in class. I'm not saying that I'll feel like pressured to get everything right or something like that. I just mean that I feel like I'll, I know that I can get things cleaner um, when it comes to the stage because I know I can get things cleaner than maybe I would have thought that I could. I'll have more belief that I can do that in class and with class routines. Obviously not necessarily to the same degree if I've only got one class to learn it or whatever, but I think it's given me a little more self-confidence that I can make routines cleaner. Another thing I've learned or maybe appreciated more from doing Dance Overture is how important self-care and technique are um, in terms of preventing injuries and illness. So I did um, Dance Overture and then the week after Dance Overture I crashed like well, I, after I came home, I crashed. Now, this sometimes happens at the end of term anyway, so it could have just been that it was the end of term, but I don't think I was getting enough sleep during Dance Overture, and that's not just the fact that we were getting home late, like I wasn't going to bed as early as I could have done on the nights, even when we were home late. So, importance of sleep, again, which I feel like has come up in a lot of my reflection videos, but I just keep getting reminded of the importance of sleep. Also, I had this shout in the theatre jazz piece that I did, and I think maybe because it was a dance piece or because it was just one shout, it was just like a hey. I had to be really loud with it because um, I wasn't mic'd or anything, but because it was just one shout, I wasn't really thinking about my vocal technique or anything. Um, and my throat was getting a little bit rough by the end of the week of the rehearsals and show week, the last week. So that's just highlighted the importance of safe technique for everything, even shouting, like it's not just singing technique. I probably could have applied some of my singing technique to that shout and therefore might have um, made it work better. Something else I've learned um, or like experienced I guess because we did our show in the new Wimbledon Theatre um, which is in Wimbledon 
and London Studio Centre is based in North London so we had to like commute um, to go to the theatre and I think this experience of commuting for the show I think it made it feel more professional also um, having this experience gave me the chance and made me think about like what food am I going to bring, what drink am I going to bring, what stuff do I need to bring with me, makeup, meal prepping, um, things like that. Uh, gave me a chance to practice those things which I might have to do if I was doing a professional show. Talking of makeup, something else that this gave me the chance to practice was show makeup and I also did fake lashes for the first time. If you haven't watched my vlog, I think it might be part one of my weekend vlog but if you haven't seen it already that's me trying to put on false lashes for the first time. I'd recommend watching that if you haven't already. Other things I learned, I'm just going to go through the, a few of them quickly because I don't want this video to be too long. One of the things that I learned was thinking in um, more detail about how to breathe during an empty piece when you're singing, dancing, singing and dancing, like learning to think about your breath rather than just trying to breathe where you can and running out of air because you haven't planned in your breaths properly. I also learned new things in terms of like technique and stuff. Also getting the audition experience was nice. Also just the experience of getting to go through a whole rehearsal process. It's not just learning a routine, it's like you do this, you add on to it, you change things, does this work? All these things that happen in rehearsal to make it a piece ready for the stage. So that was really interesting. It was really nice to see that process. Also I feel like when I go back to college something that will be good for me to keep is like the energy that you bring to a stage performance trying to bring that into the studio when you're just in class the MT piece in particular like taking it from Easter all the way to the stage I feel like my energy level and cleanliness and performance level I feel like there was probably quite a big difference and so I want to try and keep that um, level of performance and bring it into classes um, not just MT classes but classes in general like I think I should treat every performance that we do like showing of work just in class as a performance performance. But again, remembering that mistakes are still good and we're still learning um, and things like that as well. And now I'm just gonna share a few final reflections, not so much things I learned, but just observations from doing this dance overture. A, I'm really happy that we got to do this show. I felt like I learned a lot. I feel like it's such a good experience for us to get to do this um, as part of our training because it's like training you for the showmanship side of, um, performing at of like when you graduate and I feel like if I take some of the lessons I've learned from this and I apply them to the classroom that it's going to help my training next year as well so I'm really glad we got to do it and also I really enjoyed like the camaraderie um, and like getting to know people backstage and I feel like I got to know people in my dressing room a lot more um, and also I just love being in the theatre. I think I had this moment backstage where I was like I just love the theatre like this is I love theatres so yeah, I loved performing both of my pieces, like when it came around to the last show. It's like, we're only doing this one more time, like, or even on the Saturday, like, the Saturday evening, we were like, like, this is our second to last show. If I had the chance to do that dance overture again, like, do the pieces more, I would do it again. One final thing is, it was really nice to be mixed with other people um, for our non-pathway piece, other people that we might not have lessons with and to be inspired by dancing with other people and also in rehearsals and when it came to the show and just everything like it was really nice to mix with people that in a normal timetable I might not have classes with. Okay and that is everything I wanted to share with you in today's video I hope you have enjoyed it and if you have please do give it a like to let me know and I'd really really appreciate you subscribing I'm trying to grow my channel and yeah I just really appreciate some more subscribers so if you aren't subscribed already and you're interested in the performing arts and drama school and things like that I'd really appreciate you subscribing and yeah that's everything I wanted to say so thank you very much for watching bye